Life isn't a rom-com fairy tale, man. So as men, choosing the more of life, the reality of life, we choose the less traveled path. The road that balances the contradictory claims of the world. Gentlemen, what's going on? This is the Better Man channel, where we choose to see the bigger picture. We don't accept the Mona Lisa as some great art piece just because you tell us to. And we damn sure don't sheepishly tiptoe across life, scared to disrupt the programming. Oh man, you know it. The programming. Go to school. Sit in your desk. Don't question the system. Go to more school. Stack up the debt. Get a career. Drown yourself in more debt. Pay your taxes and die. You ever felt like you've been conditioned to flow along the assembly line of life? Solely produced to consume more useless shit that materialism throws at you. Or more specifically, shoves in your face. And the world will call you an outcast and possibly toxic if you choose a different path. But if you've been labeled an outsider, or significantly difficult, or even an asshole, or you yourself recognize the need to challenge the modern paradigm, consider yourself in good company. Seneca states that men and society, they establish rules, then they argue and backbite over them, but never infuse the spirit it takes to live a free life, a life of exploration, one that goes beyond the letter of the rule and actually lives. Think of some limp dick bureaucrat forming a policy for man to live by simply because it makes the bureaucrat's pockets fatter. Yet it leaves the common man, the normal man, an impoverished slave. See, the system has sold us the deceptive lie that there is one big abstract game plan for success in life. You've heard it, I've heard it, we've heard it since birth from our parents, our teachers, our friends, even strangers and the media. But there's no ultimate solution to follow. And we've learned this the, the hard way. Life is not the North Pole with Santa partying in Vegas year-round. It's not all the money and women you want and can have. Damn it, Hollywood! You lied to me! I thought I'd meet a single mother on a Colorado dog ranch and we would bark off into the sunset as dog kennel millionaires. And then they'd give me a parade because I fought and overcame the town villain. Hmm. Life isn't a rom-com fairy tale, man. So, as men, choosing the more of life, the reality of life, we choose the less traveled path. The road that balances the contradictory claims of the world's sheep. Do this. No, no, do no, that. do that. Wait, that. Now, wait, it's wait, three boots, three boots, not, not two. No, no hold up, now it's this trend. Oh, not, we've messed up. Now maybe you don't have to go to school to be successful. Well, let's not jump to conclusions, the rat race hamster scream. It's time to step off the hamster wheel, man. Life is lived once. And why the hell would we want to live a carbon copy of someone else's prison sentence? Seneca talks about challenging the hazards of another man's imposed beliefs. To become strong, sharp, and free. He talks about finding something to overcome. And aim to test his endurance. And I'll be, despite the modern beliefs of just sit down and shut up, Man's nature is to rock the boat, to test the waters. A follow step one, then step two, then step three life is okay for the cookie cutter generation and the Mona Lisa art lovers of life. But man's art form, his creativity, his will to power, his spirit, that's best suited in the chaos of what if? What if I chose to be free? And that's where we currently find ourselves. Men have the opportunity to be a part of a backbone revolution. We can burn down the statues of modernity and replace its quicksand foundation with the rock solid. Time has presented us with an extraordinary occasion. To be spineless or to actually have some backbone. The courage to replace the lies with truth. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of walking around in a world so flexible that it bends at the slightest hint of wind. Love and respect, gentlemen. Life is best enjoyed when it becomes ours and no one else's. You'll hear from me next episode.